Yo guys, it's Chris here, and this video is going to be just like my Forza Horizon 3 versus Need for Speed Payback video. What's going to happen is, I'm going to be judging these categories based on Forza 7 and GT Sport. The categories are going to be graphics, physics, multiplayer, DLC, cars, tracks, upgrades and customization, story, and sound. And basically what I'm going to do is, or I'm going to show like a clip or something about each one of the categories for each game. And I'm going to be grading it out of 10, whichever one has the most points at the end, is the ultimate comparison. I They're see. having a good head-to-head. -head. We're at Brands Hatch uh, in this okay. um, bit of gameplay, which I can actually say I have driven around myself. Oh. Been very lucky to drive around. This job is disgusting, isn't it? It is. It means that I can tell you that this is just like a ridiculous recreation of Brands Hatch. Not only is it a bunch of new cars, which is always cool in general, but some of the cars, in terms of what they represent, are very significant, and also it goes beyond just cars also, because included in this pack are not only some slightly older vehicles than those which we currently have, such as the Ferrari Enzo, the 70s Lamborghini Countach, 